it's not gonna be, like it's not gonna be a mammoth. Months. Yeah, it's not gonna be mammoth. It's not gonna be a wolf. But yeah. Do you already have one in mind? It'll be a mouse or a, a marsupial. Interesting. Are they just higher turnover rate? Yeah, there's a the, uh, our fat tail dunart, which is our model's fat PC, tailed dunart. Fat tail dunart. It's literally the cute. It's it, 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 it will give the woolly mouse a run for its money on objectively cute factor. Mm. So, um, but if you look at the, uh, if you if you look at them, they only have about a 13 and a half day gestation because marsupials Whoa. have so much gestation that happens outside the womb. Mice uh, have a little uh, north of 20 days. Got so, it. But mice, uh, unlike mice, uh, the, uh, the placenta, uh, technically marsupials are placental mammals, but the placenta only shows up for a cameo for like the last day of gestation. Mm. So it's not really needed uh, in terms of like gestation for uh, the fat tail done art. Right. Mm. Okay, so when you say something will be born ex utero, would I be able to walk into the lab and see it like in its placenta just growing? One, if we achieve it, and then two, if we achieve it and it's highly replicatable, then yes, you would be. We would probably stage gate it, so you'd have it at every single. Like you'd be able to say, "Oh, here's device one, and it's at day three. This is at day seven. This is at day twenty-four, or in this case, day twenty twenty, and it's birthing." Bro, this is so sci-fi. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Legitimately, but I actually think that artificial wombs, if we're successful, um, will have way more impact to conservation than anything else like we work on the northern white rhino project and mm -hmm. um we're our our job is to help them is do... it just because you can do so many yeah so you can do it at scale that's what that's the beauty of the artificial womb if we're really good at this uh, instead of it's great for animal welfare perspective it's also great for conservation because you know instead of having to do ivf in rhinos to help save the northern white rhino right and put them in southern white rhinos to birth them uh you know this is how the technology stack immediately applies at scale to uh, to conservation.